Wisconsin Dells suspending its police chief for two weeks after a letter he wrote in early September. It seemed to defend a man charged with his sixth OWI, calling him a valuable member of the community. Amy Reed breaks down the situation way back from when it started last year. His name is still on the door, but starting Thursday, Police Chief Jody Ward will be out of the office without pay for two weeks. The suspension came from the city, citing a letter Ward wrote to the court in September about a man charged with his sixth OWI. In it, he said the man, James Connors, is trustworthy and kind and a valuable member of the Wisconsin Dells community. Connors is the co-owner of Nig's Bar in the Dells, right next to where the last OWI arrest happened in August last year. According to court paperwork, police found Connors here noticeably drunk. The officer told him not to drive, but parked nearby to keep an eye out. They saw Connors pull out of the parking lot where they pulled him over, and he blew a .21 BAC. This is Connors' sixth OWI, which would normally be a felony, but he only got three years probation. Connors' lawyer told me that the chief's letter had nothing to do with that. The lawyer wouldn't go on camera, but he did send me the plea questionnaire, filed July 23rd of this year, more than a month before the chief wrote his letter. It shows Connor's lawyer's recommendation of three years probation, due in part to the fact Connor's last OWI was 14 years ago. But the judge still had the chief's letter when he decided to go with the recommendation, getting the chief's word that Connor's made a personal promise that he's committed to his sobriety and that Connor's future sobriety would be enhanced if he was monitored electronically. In Ward's suspension, the city said Ward understands and accepts he should not have conveyed a character reference for an OWI offender, but still that the media account generated public comment and controversy detrimental to the image, reputation, and interests of the city and police department. Ward's suspension will last until October 25th. We reached out to the city, the police department, the lawyer for the city, and both Ward and Connors. No one wanted to talk with us on camera. The lawyer from the city said the suspension letter for Ward speaks for itself. Amy Reed reporting tonight. Amy, thank you.